channel and welcome if you're not his are new. My name is Dink and I post Disney related content and all things Disney on this channel. And I'm so excited for today's video because your girl has another unboxing, but not just any other unboxing. It's a lounge fight unboxing. I know. I have a problem, but it's okay. You guys love it. I love it. And we can just have this problem together. Anyways, if you guys are new, I am a huge Loungefly collector. I do lots of Loungefly unboxings on here. And I also just started my new series called Lounging with Dink, the Loungefly series. Episode one is already up. I will link it above and down below for you guys to check out. But basically the series is just talking about Loungefly um, needs to know, tips, tricks, everything you need to know if you are wanting to collect Loungefly. And then episode two comes out this Saturday, so definitely look forward to that. But anyways, you guys get to enjoy me unboxing yet another <sighs> lounge fly. And if you guys can guess it, it has to do with Nightmare Before Christmas. I think I'm going to be obsessed with this backpack, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to use it right away. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I have my handy dandy box cutters, and I am unboxing <laughs> Make sure you can have an adult if you are a child or have issues with opening boxes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open her up. Oh my god. Oh, it's stunning. It's, it looks so little. It looks smaller than what I was expecting. So let's get the box out of the way. And of course it's in this plastic wrap. I feel like they've been doing this a lot lately. Usually they would just be like um, tissue paper and like bubble wrap around it and that's it. But I feel like they've been doing this <laughs> a lot lately. So I'm just going to... So here, here it is. I'm going to show you guys. It is so stinking cute. Ta da! It's Jack Skellington. He's so stinking cute. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas would probably be my favorite holiday, one of my favorite holiday movies uh, to watch. Um, it's definitely a favorite of mine and Marcus's. We both decorate, well, we decorate our apartment during the Halloween season and Christmas season nightmare for christmas so this backpack is so cute and oh it's so adorable it's jack so he is headless jack uh, he has his head in his hands not up here but it's so stinking adorable oh my god it's actually much smaller than i anticipated it would be i thought it would be a little bit larger but it's okay, it's still cute, it's still cute. It's kind of like the original um, lounge fly size. I was trying to see if I had like an example of one, but it is so, so precious. Oh my God, so stinking cute. So here it is, me just admiring it for like a good minute. <laughs> um, so you have his head down here, like I said, and he's holding them. And then his arms are like right here. So they're attached from the side of the bag right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. And then there's kind of like this gap right here. So it's not like fully attached to the bag, only the top of it is, and then it kind of comes down here and it's not fully attached down here. So those are both of his arms kind of like cupping, holding his head. <gasps> it's so precious. And then it's his overall suit, his black, and white stripe suit and then you have his cute little bat like bow tie he has is it a bat or is it a spider oh my god guys i don't remember it looks like a bat but i want to say it's like originally a spider right or is it a bat oh my god i'm horrible i don't even remember <laughs> but it's here, his like bow tie, and then the white of his suit right here this is what this side looks like and then I thought it was real. It's not real. 
<laughs> it's not real. This pocket's not real. Very, very sad. Very, like, probably one of the biggest pet peeves I have is when the side pockets are not real because I put my cell phone right there and it's an easy, like, grab. <laughs> I thought they were real guys. I was fooled. <laughs> and then here's this side of the bag. Here is the plaque on this side. So it says Disney and then Tim Burton's Night Before Christmas. So it's a black pack plaque with the white uh, trimming around it. And then this is the back of the backpack. It's just all black and white stripe. And then the handle right here is white and then the straps are black. I love that they did them black and not white because white gets dirty so easily, guys. My fiance is constantly cleaning my Baymax backpack because he gets dirty a lot and I, I use it quite a bit and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this one. Head right here is the small pocket. So you have the silver zipper so it opens like so. And then of course we have like this foam stuff in here. But I would say the pocket is a really good size. It's not as small as like the classic mini lounge size, but it's not as big as like the newer versions, if that makes any sense. Um, but it's a pretty decent size. And then his suit continues down into the pocket, which is really, really nice. And then of course we want to see the inside lining. So let's go ahead and open it up. And of course, there's like all this stuffing in here, packaging in here. We don't want that. And then just a reminder, make sure you throw these little like packets away. They are extremely dangerous for your fur babies. So just get rid of them ASAP. <laughs> okay, so the inside lining is so stinking cute. And of course it has a zipper pocket inside, which we love. Not a big fan that it doesn't have these pockets, just saying. But there is a zipper pocket inside. And then this is the inside lining. So you have different swirls pumpkins and then bats and spiders on it it's so sticky cute oh my god i want to go to the disney parks guys and wear this and take a cute photo with maybe jack or in front of the haunted mansion which is now the holiday haunted mansion which is my absolute favorite but he's so stinking cute it just reminds me of the scene where he takes off his head and he's like i can uh what does he say he says something about like shakespeare i can recite shakespeare like stuff <laughs> quotations i think he says but it's so oh my god this is probably my new favorite holiday halloween backpack i'm definitely gonna start using it now but it's so Guys, it's so cute and I love like the white trimming right here along the bag. It's really, really nice. <sighs> Smaller than what I thought, but definitely still cute and I will be definitely using it. Oh, it's spooky season. It's officially, officially spooky season with this lounge fly. Like how adorable is this? They also released a Sally one. I'm not sure if it's still available. If this one's still available, I will link it down below for you guys. Um, or if I can find some like pre-orders for you guys, I will link it down below. But there is a Sally one, which is I wasn't sure about it. Like now that I see other people getting it, like I kind of want it, but I don't know. I don't like the way Sally looks, but this is what it looks like. Um, and then they also put out one where it was like Oogie Boogie's like little layer with the spinning wheel thingy. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> and then it has some of the Nightmare for Christmas characters like Jack, Sally. I think it has Oogie Boogie on it and Santa Claus. Um, so there is that one. That one's okay. I feel like they shouldn't have put the characters on top of it. It would have been the cuter bag. Um, but I personally would want the Oogie Boogie spinning purse one. I'll insert a picture here. This one's really, really cute. I would love to have this one in my collection. Maybe in the future. But I'm definitely happy with this because it's Jack. He's so precious. Definitely comment down below who is your favorite characters from Nightmare for Christmas. My number one would probably be obviously Jack, then Zero, and then Oogie Boogie. Those are my favorite characters. Like, look at, look at my ears with this backpack. 
come on guys we need to go to the parks and show off this adorable backpack it's so stinking cute i'm definitely gonna already switch out my vampire teddy backpack for this one because this one's adorable and i'm sure i will get tons of cute compliments on it but it's so cute the only thing i would be afraid of is like his arms so i would just be careful with that and then you kind of have to like push it back like see the zipper gets kind of caught that's my only issue maybe but other than that it's an adorable backpack um let me know if you guys pre-ordered or got any nightmare for christmas backpacks little girl no let me know if we're twitting yes Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up. If you did, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye! Where it has the lounge flight pack. So this is Disney. I am churning. Do you see this? Oh my god. My chair is just like churning as I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Oh, the season! It's officially explicit. But.